Charlie Mamo says telehealth sessions with his nurse were the difference between life and death as he struggled to get his diabetes under control. We've run out of the Bojio bread, had to have a bread and didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't really realise what a bad disease it is. It affects every part of your body. Charlie's blood sugars spiralled last year and he ended up needing a triple bypass. The pandemic was a perfect storm for thousands like him. Don't want to go anywhere because if you go somewhere, you could catch the COVID. And that led to fewer chances to detect diabetes or its complications. Add that to weight gain and a bad diet for an estimated third of the population during lockdowns and it makes for a hidden explosion of the disease. Diabetes is now the biggest burden of disease for health. The fear is people have been leaving it too late to seek treatment. While the proportion of diabetic people attending the Blacktown and Mount Druitt Hospitals emergency departments went down during the pandemic, at the same time the proportion of those patients with severe conditions rose. So we see more people with very severe problems coming to the hospital over the course of the pandemic and we see fewer people overall. In Melbourne too, experts like Alif Akinci saw the pandemic effect. If you were going to get diabetes, COVID did, um, you know, potentially push you over the line uh, during this time. It could be a big problem. Even before the pandemic, it was estimated half a million Australians were walking around with undiagnosed type 2 diabetes. And that's on top of the 1.8 million diagnosed with the condition. So it begs the question, how many more now? The silver lining of the pandemic? More telehealth sessions, more in-home monitoring of patients. And now, knowing most type 2 diabetes or its complications are preventable, the advice is simple. Lose a couple of uh, kilos, everyone can do that. Get the right medications. Stopping smoking is a key thing. You can back out of diabetes. Perhaps Charlie Moma is the best advocate. Number one, get checked. Number two, don't treat it as a joke like I did. In the end, Charlie did catch COVID, but being vaccinated meant it was mild. He counts himself lucky he could avoid the much higher deadly risk for diabetes patients. You'd be lost without me, because yes. I'm such a good bloke. Right? <laughs> Mary Gearin, ABC News.